Okay, media. This is actually a pretty large section, and it I wanted to cover it all together because basically it really darts around back and forth a lot between what you have to do and what the different settings are in order to implement your media properly. Media is basically all of your photos, images, uh, videos, uh, audio, anything like that that you would consider multimedia. However, your media is not just limited to those individual things. You can also upload zip files, PDF files, and other such things and attach them to your post much the same way that you do with your uh, photos and other multimedia. And that's actually a lot of things that, that's something that not a lot of people really know about and therefore don't really fully utilize. So basically, it's pretty straightforward. Your media library is basically going to look a lot like uh, all your other things, such as your editing posts and your editing users and stuff like that once you get media into it. So in order to add new media, obviously you can go under the media and hit Add New or Add New button next to the title. And it's going to give you an uploader to select. So you click Select Files. And we're going to go to an individual folder. And we're actually going to start with an image and it's going to automatically upload it and it's going to crunch it for optimization for the web automatically for you so you don't have to do that. Um, also you're going to have the ability to put in title, alternate text, caption, a description if necessary. This is really good for search engines and you're also going to be able to edit your image on the fly inside of WordPress. You're also once again not going to need to use an image editor. If you wanted to maybe say flip it horizontal, horizontal horizontally, vertically, or anything along those lines, you can do that within here. You can flip it just like that. Um, you can also scale the image. You can crop the image. You can maintain its aspect ratio. All that stuff can be done right inside of WordPress. It's a very handy tool to use. So once you're done making your changes, you can hit Save All Changes, and that automatically completes that. And so now you have this thing, much looks a lot like you, like all the others. And you can also add new things as necessary. Now, in this one, we're going to actually add a PDF instead, say loan information. And we're going to add that, and it's, going to, and it's going to have a PDF available for you to use. So now that's in there available. So not just images and multimedia, but any file that you want to. Now you're going to want to insert it into a post. So you're going to go to Add New Posts. Up here, above your uh, standard uh, bar, your your rich text editor bar you're gonna have your multimedia uploads it's under upload insert and you have different things image and and video and audio and then in the media so for this example we're just gonna use the image we're gonna go up here to media library or you can upload right there on the fly just like you did from your media or if you wanted to hot link something you can do it straight from a URL so from another website for example so you can do it right there so we're going to go to our media library. We're going to select this thing that we uploaded. And we're going to have the ability to do a couple things here. We can once again edit it right then and there. We can uh, insert a thumbnail version of it and, or the actual full size or a medium version of it. And that way we can save space on our blog, especially if it's so big it starts to break the theme. And what we can do is we can put the thumbnail in and we can have a couple of different options here. The link URL can go to either the full full file, which is the image, or let's say the, the PDF or something like that, or just the post URL, which is basically the attachment to that individual uh, that individual post. So you can click that and it'll go in there and it'll actually show you a special page that will only show that attachment. So it's a very handy thing, especially if your theme utilizes it. You hit insert into post, file URL, and it'll automatically insert it for you. After, let's say if you want to make edits or changes to it, you can click on this little edit, or if you want to remove it entirely, you can click delete, and it'll do that all automatically for you. It's a very handy tool, and you can use this with just about anything, like I said, including PDFs and including uh, other media as well. Any files apply. One last thing I wanted to do is quickly go over the media settings. If you just go to settings and media, you can see you can set a couple of standards for your media settings such as your uh, embed size your thumbnail size for your images and stuff like that um, and, and that's in case uh, if you'll if the ones that are de default for WordPress aren't the ones that you want for your particular blog if you find yourself always resizing the width of your thumbnails you can always adjust that right here automatically
And that pretty much does it for media.